10 lamps are connected in series across a power supply. The voltage across each lamp is 6 volts. What's the, what's the voltage of the supply? Okay, so here's a diagram representing what's going on. Now, if each of these bulbs has got 6 volts across it, because we're only dealing with one loop going all the way around, then we know the sum of the EMFs across... Uh, uh, sorry, the sum of the PDs across all these bulbs is going to equal the EMF coming out from the battery. So we've got 6 volts across each one, so that's going to be 6 times by 10, which is going to give us 60 volts. Therefore the voltage across the uh, power supply must also be 60 volts. 10 lamps are connected in parallel across a 12 volt supply. What's the voltage across each lamp? Okay, so here's my uh, 10 lamps all connected in uh, parallel. Now, because each individual lamp is its own loop, so let's look at the very first one. If the uh, power supply is 12 volts, then the voltage across each lamp is also going to be 12 volts because they're their own individual uh, loop. So you'd actually have this, each loop is with each bulb is like this. You've got 12 volts EMF, 12 volts PD. So that's the answer, it is 12 volts. The ammeter below reads 1 amp. All the resistors have the same value. What's the current through the black resistor? Now something I would do with this is I would, if they're all the same value, why don't you just take their value, just make something up like maybe they'll each be 10 ohms. Like this. Now, what we can do firstly, think about this line here. Now, 10 plus 10 plus 10, that makes 30 ohms. So by uh, V equals IR, the voltage across here is going to be, though the current is 1 times by 30 would be 30 volts. Okay? So we know from here to here, we've got a voltage of 30 volts. And using that, we can now work out what the current is in here. So again, if you use V divided by R equals I, well here we can have the voltage of 30 divided by 10 equals 3 amps. So we've got 3 amps going down here. We've got one amp going here. So going in here by Kirchhoff's uh, first law, three plus one equals four amps. Now, uh, a, a bit of a, not a cheat, but because these values are both the same, the voltage must be, e sorry, the current must be evenly distributed. So we know the two amps must be going through here and two amps must be going through here. So that's our final answer, 2 amps. Look at the circuit below and answer the questions that follow. Ammeter 5 reads 3 amps. So we've got 3 amps here. All the resistors have the same value of 10 ohms. 10. Okay. What are the readings on ammeter 1 uh, to ammeter 8? And what's the terminal voltage of the battery? Well, firstly, if we've got 10 plus 10 here, the voltage between here and here, well, the total resistance of this branch is 20 ohms. So by V equals IR, the voltage between these two points is going to equal to 20 times by 3, which is going to equal to 60 volts. And now we know between here and here, we've also got 60 volts. The total voltage on the, sorry, the total resistance along, sorry, look, the total resistance along our second branch here is going to be equal to 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is going to be 30. Okay, so we know this is 30 ohms here, and we've got a voltage of 60 volts across it, so we can work out, well, what's the current going through here as well? 
So by uh, V over R equals I, so 60 divided by 30 equals 2. So we've got 2 amps here and 2 amps here. Okay, so coming out of here we've got 2 amps. Coming up here we've got 3 amps. So therefore A6 is going to be 2 amps plus 3 amps, which is going to equal 5 amps. Okay, and then again we still know between these two points here we've got uh, 60 volts. Here's our resistance. So we want to find out, well, what's the current going through here this time? Well, we've got um, uh, voltage divided by the resistance is equal to the current. So 60 divided by 10 equals 6 amps. So here we've got a voltage of 6, sorry, a current of 6 amps. So we've got 6 here. We've got 5 going in here. So we have 6 plus 5, which gives us 11 amps. So here we've got 11 amps. Now, therefore, here we've got 11 amps. And also down here, we're going to have 11 uh, amps. So there we go, solved. The voltmeter across R reads 24 volts. Okay, and then we've got some questions to answer. What is the voltage across the upper 10 ohm resistor? What's the current through the upper 10 ohm resistor? What's the voltage across the lower part of the parallel circuit? What's the reading on ammeter A2? What are the readings on ammeter A1 and A3? And then finally, what's the value of R? So I'm going to go through these, but I might not necessarily go through them in the order. Now, firstly, uh, the voltage across... R here is 24 volts and we've got 40 volts going in so we know across any loop like this uh, the voltage the, the the sum of the EMFs must equal the sum of the PDs across uh, so if we've got 24 here we've got 40 here this is going to equal 40 minus 24 which we can do that so we know between, uh, on this branch here, or between these two points here, we've got a voltage of 16 volts. So, uh, what's going to be the current going through here? Well, we're going to have uh, 10 ohms, so V divided by I, oh, sorry, V divided by R, sorry, equals I. So we have 16 divided by 10, and we get 1.6 amps. So we've got 1.6 amps coming through here. Now down here, our total resistance of this bunch here is going to equal 10 plus 30, which equals 40 ohms. Therefore, the current going through here is going to equal... Uh, the voltage divided by the resistance. So the voltage uh, we know is 16 volts. Okay, divided by 40. That's going to equal. Uh, that's going to equal 0 0.4 uh, amps. So we now know we've got 0 0.4 amps going through here. We've got 1.6 going through here. So going through here, we're going to have 0 0.4 plus 1.6 amps, which is equal to. 2 amps. So therefore, coming down here, we've got 2 amps, and going up here, we've also got 2 amps. Uh, what else do we need to solve? Oh, what is the value of R? Well, we know we've got 2 amps, so V over I equals R, so 24 divided by 2 is 12 ohms. So let's go through this. The voltage across the upper uh, 10 ohm resistor, well that's 16 volts. The current through there is 1.6 amps. What's the total voltage across the lower part of the parallel circuit? Well again, that's still 16 volts. What's the reading on ammeter 2? Uh, 0.4 amps. 
what are the readings on ammeters 1 and 3? Uh, 2 amps, and then finally, what's the value of R? It is 12 ohms. All right, we're done.